are you there, God? It's me, Dylan, <laughs> and I am sitting here with the iconic author, Judy Bloom to chat all things of this iconic adaptation of Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, on oh, film. On film. If there was one thing that you want people to take away from watching this movie, what would it be? First of all, I want them to love it. Yeah. <laughs> because I do. I, I, I think that anyone who's read the book and cared about the book over all these years mm -hmm. will not be disappointed they in the won't. movie. Yes. And I was wondering, did you go to the director and say, do you, there are, are there any specific moments that you wanted to see in the film, or did you kind of let the director just take the wheel? There are only two little things I had to tell her. Okay. Okay? And I know not to tell directors anything, but one was they forgot about teenage softies. I don't know if what you are remember. Those? Teenage softies were the sanitary product, the sanitary napkin okay. that Margaret bought at the store. Which are become pads, correct? Like They're now pads. Call, call They're them pads. pads. And what was the other thing that the you had to tell The other thing her? was I had to teach them how to do the exercise. Which is, um, I must, I must. Well, I go, I must, I must, I must increase my bus. Okay. But those girls were going, we must, we must increase our bus. The proper ways, I must, I yes, must. That's the proper I must way. increase my bust. Yes. Oh, I can't believe I got to just do that with you. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about how this book was censored um, back in the day. That was the 80s, correct? Yeah, even, you know, it came out in, it's set in 1970, I don't know, I guess it came out in 1970. Yes. And even from the very start, you know, I gave three copies to my kids' elementary school. Mm -hmm. I was so proud and yeah, happy, like, signed the copies, check, check out your give them book. to the library, and the male principal of that elementary school removed them. Removed them. Wow. And I asked him why. Why would you do this? Mm -hmm. I mean, really, I was that naive. I didn't even think, like, what is wrong here? Why would he do that? He said, because it's not appropriate for girls um, in elementary school to read about menstruation. I'm like, do you know how many girls in fifth and sixth grade and maybe fourth already have their periods? What, what I am saying now is having lived through the 80s with yes. the book banning, what's going on now is scarier and um, much worse. I was wondering if you had any advice for young creatives like me that want to share our story but are scared of societal backlash. You know what? You can't be scared. That's the thing. I mean, you can't write with the censor on your shoulder or the critic on this shoulder. You've got to get rid of them both. Okay. And you, or, or you can't do it. Is there anything that you would say to someone new in their womanhood exploring that? Any advice that you would give? Enjoy it. <laughs> Enjoy it. Thank you. Love, love it. Thank if you. If you can. Thank you. And it's hard no matter what sex you are, no matter your gender. Mm -hmm. Life happens. Life happens and life can mm -hmm. be tough. Was there ever a, an age, like a magical number that you hit where you stopped caring so much about, you know, what people thought about you and you looked in the mirror and you said, hey, I feel beautiful, I feel confident, I love myself? That, that journey, that journey never ends. Absolutely. You know, you keep learning about yourself. Mm -hmm. It's not like, okay, I know all about myself now, I'm grown up, I'm done. No. Right. It keeps happening. I remember when I was 50, I said, well, now I am really grown up. That's what I said. It was 50? I was 50. Okay, so I maybe there that. is a, that, that was but sort no, of a, But no, but, it, it but it's changed. not true. It keeps, it keeps evolving. Yes, you know, I'm 26 years old. I'm still going through some of those growing pains and, you know, still waiting for certain things to I'm happen to my- I'm 85 and I'm going through growing pains. I'm not waiting anymore here. You, okay, <laughs> you, we stopped the waiting. <laughs> Let's say if it was set in the year 2023, do you think Margaret would have been on TikTok? Do you? I kind of think she would, yeah. but I think she'd probably be at least scrolling on TikTok. Do you have a TikTok? I don't. I end every TikTok video um, by saying, love ya. And so I was wondering if we could look at the camera together, and on three, we're going to say, love ya. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Love, love ya! ya.